We use present continuous to... Uh, to talk about the nearest inevitable future uh, and to talk about the processes we're in the middle of. Good job! No, no, not that gamification. <laughs> Greetings, my friends! Today is a really big day. The day to tell you about the icing on the cake of teaching teenagers. It is gamification. Let's start with some essentials. Basically, gamification means using game mechanics in a non-game context just to make it fun. Actually, it also helps to change the view and broaden the perception of the subject. The whole gamification is based on one simple model, the pyramid of elements. It has three levels, components, mechanics and dynamics. Today we will focus on the first one. Important disclaimer, gamification is definitely one of the best things that happened with education. But you should be patient and careful while introducing it to your students. Do it slow and steady with the old ones and rain down the whole might of this method on your new groups, classes or individual students. In a nutshell, gamified classroom looks like this. Students work individually or unite in teams to complete quests for which they get experience points which allow them to reach new levels. The progress is tracked with achievements. For them, students receive badges, which are displayed on a leaderboard. For the certain collections of badges, they can unlock new content and buy some virtual goods, teams and individuals. As well as in real life, people work alone but unite to solve some difficult problems. In fact, any kind of research, project or task can be done either alone or in a group. But teamwork provides unique experience and boosts social soft skills. So, consider using it as often as possible. Quests! The way to turn quests from video games into real-life tasks is project-based learning. Students search for the answers themselves and the whole process of learning becomes way more creative. Here are some lovely task examples. Number one, tell your students to find an expert living in Russia or in your country, make an interview with him or her and transcribe it. Or ask them to prepare the list of all the topics they've missed and make their own study plan with strong and weak sides. Number three, give them a task to write the short sketch that can be performed in the classroom. XP points, each solved task, each completed project, each answer on the lesson and any initiative must be rewarded with some experience points. They do not equal marks, but boost the competition even more. To shorten the time for homework checking, apply this new rule to your classroom. Instead of telling your students to please take out your copybooks, your students' book and your workbook as well, and now please show me your home task. You can just do the following. Give every student 20 points when they have their homework on their table during the break or just before the lesson. While doing some reading tasks, giving a correct answer without keywords evidence from the text brings you one point, and with the evidence it brings you two points. Furthermore, a certain amount of experience points brings your student to the next level. Ah, oh, it's evolving! Awesome! which means not only their position in the rating system, but some interesting perks. For example, in my class, students would get sunglasses to wear at 150 points, the privilege to take off their shoes at 250 points, a positive text to their parents at 400, and if the score is over 500 points, whoever has it can steal the teacher's chair. Apart from the level system, we have achievements. They help to track progress and mark important steps past. Some are for individual work and some for teamwork. Some are open and clear for everyone, like five A's in a row, or maybe no absence during the term, while some can be hidden. For example, you see the hard work of a certain student and want to reward him or her. 
so it's the best time for spontaneous achievement. It goes without saying that it is crucial to create all achievements according to the student's individual abilities. Everyone should have equal opportunities to earn them. So, which rewards should students get for their achievements? The pages. The easiest and the funniest way to mark students' progress and track their achievements. Invent some funny names for them and use visual templates to make them individual. You can use freepeak.com as a source of visuals. For example, bright spark for dealing with 10 tasks in a row, dark horse for overcoming laziness and some difficulties in education, and so on. Leaderboard. It's amazing to have one in your classroom. You can stick all your pages to the cork board. Make personal blanks to track experience points and progress of all the students and stick them to the same board. The board should be illustrative and very clear. If students already have a collection of various pages, reward them with some lovely bonuses. Bonus time, baby! For example, they can unlock lessons content or exchange them for some virtual goods, like get away with no homework card, just as in Monopoly. Let's say Andrew has collected all the badges for the teamwork, so now he can choose the topic for the next lesson or create his own one. Although it may all sound perfect, you may still need some cramming for certain words or grammar rules. But why not to make it fun? The way to mutual happiness is simple. I think there is a profound and enduring beauty in simplicity. Use apps. There's an app for that. My personal top three are Number one, Kahoot. An amazing tool to create games, challenges and tests for your students. Number two, Memorize with a lot of funny games for vocabulary practice. Number three, Quizlet, to create your own flashcards and use them for quizzes. Sounds like a way more interesting lesson. Hell yeah. And the next time we will give you way more detailed guidelines how to gamify your classroom and make education fun. Stay tuned until the next video and share your ideas on gamification below the video. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos and join our great team. Good luck and have fun!